Um, all right, let's go with Charlotte Hill Holmes' Toby. That's right. He says, what plugin do you think is the best directory creator plugin to build unique rankable pages in, I'm, a, I'm assuming he means every city in Virginia. I'm looking at directory creator. Um, I've not used a directory plugin before. I've used directory style WordPress themes, but never just a plugin. I'm curious what that... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that. Um, I'd have to probably look, dig through here to find the correct one. But anyways, um, I don't have. Again, I've used themes for that, but never an actual plugin, so I can't really comment on a plugin or suggest one for that. Um, <clears throat> I never really had any success with doing directory style sites. I mean, I did somewhat, but they weren't as successful as I had hoped that they would be. So I kind of abandoned that project, um, and that was several years ago. In fact, that Virginia Hangouts. Uh, network that I had set up for the IFTTT training, or you guys got to see some of it in the IFTTT training, the original one, was originally a video business directory, or a business, yeah, a, a business video directory, I guess I should say that. Um, and, and it worked well, but it was, it didn't work as well as I had hoped. And so, again, that's why I'd stopped. But there were se several type of directory style themes that uh, I looked into at the time, but this was shit three or four years ago. So I'm assuming there's probably a lot of other better stuff out there now. The only thing I would suggest is if you're going to be creating a, a, a full statewide directory, that you're going to probably want to use a complex silo structure for that. <clears throat> and that can get a bit tricky. Um, so depending on your level of, you know, whatever your SEO level is, uh, you, you, setting up a <clears throat> complex silo structure to cover an entire state like I said, can be tricky, but that is the way that I would do it because eventually it could end up being a massive site. And so you'd want to take the steps up front to kind of plan it out ahead of time. At least you'll never be able to plan it all the way out, but at least you can try to lay, uh, you know, try to look down the road several months or even a couple of years to try to determine what it, the site would look like and then try to structure it in such a way that it will accommodate that size at that point. Right. If you start with something like a simple silo structure and uh, the site continues to grow, if you, if, you, if you get some traction and you start generating, building client, you know, um, signing people up to be directory listings and all that, then it would be more difficult to change the structure later is what I'm saying. So and for that reason, I would just suggest that you use a good silo creator plugin. Network Empire has one that's free that you can use. Uh, Ultimate SEO. They have themes that you could use that will silo uh, with complex silo structures. Um, what is what's the name of that? Um, what's the name of the company that makes those the all, the SEO theme and the ultimate SEO plugin? You guys know what I'm talking about. Somebody, mm. I'm drawing a blank here. Yeah, but I don't remember. <laughs> That's such a SEO de design solutions or something like that is the name of the company that does it. Anyways, uh, you can search for stuff like that, but I would be looking for, I don't know about a directory creator plugin. I would probably use a directory theme, but I would use a um, silo builder plugin, if that makes sense. Does anybody else want to comment on that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 I follow what you say, Bradley, because I've always uh, set up uh, themes for 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 the directories. You have those themes that, in, in fact, if you go to themeforest.com, mm -hmm. you will have a ton of directories themes that are based and optimized for that. You know, with a with, with a map on the home page where you can pick the area that you're trying to you know to to, to find, etc. So that's that. And then on the other hand, I know that I remember that we have put together some projects together, Bradley, where we use Network Empire Silo Builder plugin. And then, yep. you know, video Silo Builder. Even if we didn't use the videos at the end of the day, it would be a, a huge help for um, building out the, the entire structure because you will be using complex Silo structure, structure, as you were saying. So, Yep. I still use that plugin. I use the, the free version, the, um, the free version of the Network Empire Silo plugin. It's because that's all you need. I mean, because I built out the, the silos manually anyways it's just a matter of it, it it helps to set up the the category structure and everything else it just it, it helps to manage all of that that's all i still set them up manually there are some automated versions though that will kind of build out a site all in one fell swoop with some auto generated content but uh probably you end up having to go back and swap out the content anyway so i typically just don't use the auto builders i just end up doing it manually with a simple um silo builder plugin so 
And here I just did business directory WordPress theme search in Google and there's I mean there's bunches of them guys. So it's been several years since I've even looked through any of them, but there you go.